Hey guys, even here, and in this video I got a couple of very interesting bodybuilding updates for you guys and we are starting with the most recent physique update of Samson Dauda this side chest shot that he posted on his stories so let's check it out, basically he looks big and full for sure and I'm assuming he's very flat right now but still he does have the volume, he does have the size however there is six and a half weeks until the Arnold Classic, and he is going against Hadi Chopin, and let's be real, that's basically his only competition, he needs to beat Hadi if he wants to win the Arnold Classic, Hadi is gonna be shredded, Hadi is pretty much already shredded, definitely in better conditioning than Samson is right now, at least that's how it seems based on the videos and the photos, so is Samson gonna be ready in time? And when I say ready, I don't mean his usual condition, if he brings his usual condition, which is not exactly great condition, he will be second, still, I don't think there's anybody really to challenge him for that a second, Andrew Jack is out now, so who can challenge him really, Rubil Mosquera? No, no, I don't think so, Rafael Brando, Horse MD? No, I don't think there's anybody really, he's pretty safe in that top two, and since he's the defending champion, anything short of first place is a failure for Samson, he doesn't want to be second, he doesn't want to lose this show, he needs to win it, he needs to beat Hari Chopin, so how he does that? He does that by coming in shredded, inside out, peeled, is that gonna happen? Well, I actually listened to Samson's stories, he posted like 10 stories where he was speaking about the prep and stuff like that, and he says that this week he started to feel it, to feel the prep really, and also he says that so far they have been doing exactly what they were doing before, they had the same approach as they had for all other shows so far, they didn't change anything, they stuck with what works, but they're actually gonna try something new at the end of the prep, because they really want that crazy conditioning finally to come in this year, and Milos also spoke about this on podcasts, the judges actually told them this time around, he needs to bring better conditioning, and that's exactly what they're gonna do, they're gonna do something different, they're gonna try and bring Samson really conditioned, there is six and a half weeks left again, is that enough time for Samson to get really shredded? I think so, I think it is, I mean so far Samson really hasn't been pushing things that much, uh, as Milos says he was barely even doing any cardio, so maybe now the big change is gonna be adding cardio in, whatever it is, I hope it's gonna work, I hope Samson is gonna come in super conditioned, because he's already big enough, he's 300 pounds on stage, if he comes in at like 290 but shredded, like seriously peeled, then anything is possible, he can beat Hadi, but the way things are looking right now, you know, based on Hadi's physique update and this and other physique updates of Samson, Hadi is looking better, and since Hadi beat Samson at the Mr. Olympia, he's probably the safe bet, although last year, last year Nick Walker was the favorite, he was the defending Arnold Classic champion, he beat Samson not by one or two spots, but by three spots, Samson was sixth, Nick was third at the Mr. Olympia, and at the Arnold Classic, who won? Samson, so maybe this year, even though Hadi is the favorite, even though he probably looks better right now, the outcome in the end might be surprising, it might be not what we are expecting, so yeah, I think Samson actually has a chance of winning, but he needs to come in at 101%, and that's it, he needs to come in super peeled, well peaked, you know, full, blasting full, super hard, if he does that, with his shape and structure and size, he can, he can pull a win, but you know, it's, it's not really the safest bet, but it's possible, I believe it's possible, whatever you guys think, tell me down below, alright, next up we got a physique update of Regan Grimes in his off season at almost 300 pounds, but the interesting thing about this physique update is that Regan, well, let's put it this way, pulled a Nick Walker, what exactly did he do? He posted his worst pose, and in the caption he says, front double bicep is one of my worst poses, and I'm determined to make it one of my best, so Regan Grimes did the unpopular thing, he posted his worst pose, in Nick's case it was a front lat spread, but in Regan's case it definitely is the front double bicep, 
Now it's interesting that Regan does this because Regan is kind of you know known for being a quote unquote Instagram bodybuilder. He knows to find the right angles, the right lighting, and he looks much better on the photos usually than he does on stage. I mean, he did prove himself as ninth best bodybuilder in the world, so you know he's a, he's legit for sure. But he really knows how to take the photos to make them look cool, and I like that. I personally love that. Nick Walker, however, is always posting basically the photos that he's sending his coach. And to be honest, at least for me, it's kind of boring. I think it's more interesting what Regan is doing. But, you know, sometimes you should post a physique update like this, where you're showing everything and you're exposing even your worst poses, your worst parts of your physique. Now, is front double bicep really Regan's worst pose? It definitely is. Here is a photo from the European Pro where the robbery happened, where Regan actually beat Nathan Diasha somehow. It's still a mystery to me, but it happened. Anyways, this was Regan's front double right here. So, as you can see, I think the biggest problem with his front double bicep are his flat biceps. If his biceps had more mass, if they had better peaks, this pose would look so much better. Now, compared to Nathan, you would say that maybe he needs more thickness in the chest, because Nathan's chest is that much thicker. His shoulders are rounder and bigger, his lats are popping more, and his legs are a lot bigger, right? Especially the inner part, the adductors. So those are all the things that Regan can improve, can change, but really, it's, it's mostly biceps. You know, biceps are really holding him back, so if he can improve the biceps and make them peakier, bigger, then this pose would look much, much better. And I think he's doing that very successfully right now in the offseason. I think his arms actually did grow. I don't know how much of this tissue would stay if he prepped right now, but at least in this physique update, his arms, especially biceps, are definitely looking bigger. This video, however, is not ending with the front double bicep. He had to finish it off with his best front pose, front lat spread. He didn't want to leave us with the front double bicep as the last image of himself. Uh, so he did the, the, the front lat spread. Aside from his back poses, both back double bicep and back lat spread, this is probably his uh, best pose. And in this one, he does look really freaky, like really wide. And, you know, he fills out all the holes when he does this pose. Uh, he has like really wide shoulders and, you know, big back, big lats. Uh, and, uh, you know, his conditioning right now in the off season for this weight is phenomenal also. Like, he's very, very lean. You can see separation in the quads. Uh, the, the, the stomach midsection looks really lean. So, yeah, great shape for Regan. And I think he's making progress. And he still has a lot of time left in this off season to make a lot more progress. I'm really excited to see what this guy's gonna bring next time he steps on stage. Next up, we got Goodwito in his off season and with a great example of a really good front double bicep. This is what a good front double looks like. Check out those bicep peaks. I mean, those freaking mountains. Like he has really peaky biceps, but really everything is peaking on this guy. I mean, look at the lats, how much they're popping. Look at the freaking quads. And they're saying that he has some knee issues after that jump off of the stage. But, you know, I've seen his legs training and I can see his legs the way they're looking right now. And I don't really see a problem. I mean, is there really a problem? I mean, if he wasn't able to train his legs because of an injury, his legs wouldn't look this this big, this good, and they're looking great. And this is him. I think he's taking it easy right now. He recently had a hernia surgery that went, obviously, really well. As you can see, there is no hernia anymore. And, you know, he's able to train and everything, so that's great. And, I mean, look at this guy and his physique. Like, we still haven't seen him against the pros he did turn pro, but never showed up on a pro stage. And I still believe that this guy is really that great. I think he is another Rubio Mosquera or Horse MD or Michal Krizio or anybody of these Andrew Jack, these guys who just showed up recently, just popped out of nowhere and dominated at their first shows. And I firmly believe it's going to be the same with Goodwito. I have no idea which show he plans on doing. Hopefully something this year. Maybe like mid-year, maybe during the summer. Something in Europe, I guess, because he doesn't have the US visa. We'll see. I guess soon he's going to announce something. And yeah, I can't wait to watch this guy on stage against the top pros. I think he's going to do some real damage. Oh, and we got a physique update off-season update of Quinton Araya, Quint Beastwood, who took an entire year off to work on the improvements. 
to get bigger and I think he's doing really well. I mean, we'll still see how much did he progress once he gets shredded, once he gets ready for the stage, but based on his physique updates and his weight as well, he is freaking enormous. I believe he's like close to 350 right now. I mean, he's a taller guy, but he's not much taller than Samson. And he seems to be packing weight really well. He's coached by Matt Jensen, and he's really forcing him this offseason. Like, he is eating a ton of food, he's drinking fruit juices, he's trying to get a calories in any which way he can. As you can see, his conditioning is still very good. He's just really big, really full. And once this guy gets shredded, and once the improvements are actually made, yeah, he's gonna be a force. For one day for sure, he's gonna be one of the best bodybuilders in the world, I believe. I believe one day he's gonna be like top 5, top 3 of the Mr. Olympia. I believe that. A lot of potential right here. And he's a hard worker. And he can grow as well. So whatever you guys think, tell me down below in the comment section. If you guys enjoyed this video, give it a thumbs up for more videos like this about bodybuilding. Guys, please subscribe to my channel. Thank you so much for watching. See you soon. All the best, guys. And bye-bye.